Okay, I've got two Google Forms. The first one says getting to know our class. Once people put their name here, I want their name to be one of the drop down selections on my other form. The drop down uh, question is please select your name. So on form one, when people put their name in, I want that to show up as a selection on form two. Well, how do I do that? One thing you want to do is have some data here. So when we start the process, the, uh, the, uh, the add-on sees what you're actually talking about. So let's go and use this form real quick, getting to know our class, which for me is uh, the following. Please enter your name, John Ike. Please enter your email address. It says, please choose the picture below that most describes the way you feel about your professional development journey. Storming the beach, dancing in the sun, everyone loves puppies. Okay, submit. There we go. We now have some data inside our form. Okay, great. So we're going to go into the form where we want to populate some data here. It says, please select your name. We're going to start having names pop up here. So I'm going to go up to the little puzzle, which is add-ons, and I'm going to go to Form Ranger. It's like the Lone Ranger is going to lasso up those names and bring them in. So I hit start, and it's going to probably say, hey, you want to update and make sure you're allowed to do this? Yeah, totally allowed to do this. Love, every, accept everything on the internet, right? Okay, Form Ranger. Okay, assign form questions to be populated from a values list. So like, please select your name. That's the question that we want to populate. Check. We want to populate from a list. Well, what list do you want to populate it from? Which sheet? Oh, well, the sheet that we're on. That, that's the one for sure, right? Yeah, well, I want to populate it from that sheet. Okay, once I've selected the sheet, it goes, well, on that sheet, which tab? Uh, form response one, form response two. Like, from what tab on the sheet, right? Now, remember, one tab is going to have our get to know our class data, and one tab's not. So we're going to grab the, the data from the form responses one uh, tab, form responses one, and which column? I want the column called please enter your name. So that all those names are going to start populating over into this dropdown. And we say next. Okay, give this values a name. I'm going to call it uh, student names. And we're going to save and populate it. Super slick. Look at that. Already, the name John Ike has started to populate on this form. So, uh, I want this to happen on every form submit, right? Or you can do it by the hour. I like it about every form submit. So, as soon as I hit submit on the one form, it updates the other form. Let's take a look. Okay. X out. Now, if this all worked, I should be able to go over to the other form, enter a name, and it'll populate here. Let's take a look. Getting to know our class. Let's get to know each other. Please enter your name, Bob. Please enter your email address, bob at example.com, and submit. Now, Bob's name definitely went into um, this row here. Okay, so uh, remember, it's only going to update this sheet or this form uh, on submit. So even though we submitted on the other form, it's going to update this one. So uh, we're just going to hit submit on this form. It's going to update all the names. Here we go. And now we're cooking. So uh, if you have the form kind of populate into itself, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll re uh, populate on every submit. If you're using two forms, like in this example, no problem. You just got to click submit once and it'll update all the names. Okay. I hope that helps.